day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. No, God. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a blessing, right? And the principles of God, I agree. The Bible said, be not deceived, God is not mocked, right? What some of man sow, if that's what he reap. I'm saying is you're living off of the harvest. I'm that prodigal son. I just came home. <laughs> but I'm saying that. Sam. I'm saying that. <laughs> oh, I did it. I came home. I got tired. I got tired of, of eating that pig, pig slop and came home. That, that's where I'm at. <laughs> with, with the, uh, with the uh, I, I totally agree on that piece. I'm saying that, that the, the father, at least the natural work that God has blessed and gave you opportunity to sow, you're living off of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not out there and working. You 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 retired. And you 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 living pretty good. I, I think I think you're living real pretty good. Maybe you're not. I mean, but I think I think you got a nice, you got a nice, you got a nice home, you got a swimming pool, you got a nice car. Your children go to school. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna have. Uh, you already got you. You look. You even working on his education. You already got some money. I hope in prep for that college that he may or may not go to. So you 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 have, you, you you kept some principles. Yes, I agree with this other piece. But you kept some principles, right? Yeah. Which is which is good. You know, you got your education, you graduated from school, you, you got some training in the military, you, you 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 left the military with honorable and with a retirement <laughs> paycheck, plus a disability paycheck. I mean, you can't beat that, brother. Because you start off with, depend on your parents. Yeah. Well, all right. So in other words, this, this guy also <laughs> was living in a principle uh, that he left. You know, he totally left whatever the principle, whatever his father taught him growing up, he used none of that when he went out into the world. None. You know, I'm going to do it my way. This, it, your, your way is too rigid. Your way is too too traditional. Your way, you know what I mean? It, now, I, I'm, I'm going to do it my way, right? And my way is to just act like a fool and don't recognize that I need to make sure I don't spend all my money, right? <laughs> so so that that I think that's, that's one of the key pieces of us is stand within God's kingdom, operate within his kingdom. Because if I operate outside his kingdom, there's consequences not that he brings on me, what I bring on myself, right? And I think that's what people need to understand is where you are and what happened to you is because you operate outside God's principles of living. And I think even with the body of Christ or those who profess themselves to be Christians, if they don't stay within the principles of the gospel, then they become people who burn people at the stakes. They become people who sit there and lynch people. They become people who sit there and don't care about other people. You know, losing their mercy and their grace and, and all the goodness of God characteristic. They leave that behind because they said to say, you don't deserve it. All right, so 15, what you got, bro? Okay. <clears throat> so he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him into his field to see farm. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. And no man gave unto him. No man. No man. And when he came to himself. Uh-uh. <laughs> Adam, where are you? <laughs> how many hired servants of my father have bred enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger. Yes, sir. I will yeah. arise and go to my father. Uh huh. And say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven 
and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Mm. He is one of thy hired servants. You know, and we, we come to God that way. Huh? We come to God that way. Yeah. Well, one of the things mm-hmm. is that we, we come to God that way once we recognize that, or even back to our parents, we recognize, you know what? Some of the things you do now, you did, I now understand. Right? Yep. I didn't understand it before, but I understand it now. Even when they got to sit there and try to look at how they raise their children, they have to sit there and say, now I understand what they were trying to do. And I also understand they didn't know what they were doing because they were just as young as I. <laughs> you don't know, you know, think about it. When, 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 when your, those parents that you had, it's just like, because I think, I think I, I, you probably perfect example. You had children early and they have a child, you know, a young child now. 10, how old is he now anyway? 13, right? All those other children been through that, you've been through the cycle with those older ones. <laughs> and even better yet, they've been through the cycle. They've been through the cycle with me <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you? you know, did, yeah. It, it, it goes to those ways. They had to deal with my, my unlearned uh-huh. Yeah. And, and my, my lack of wisdom. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and, and just from, from experience from my father, who, <laughs> Oh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm I know. <laughs> but that's a good point, though, ain't it? And the fact is that if we learn a lot of cases, a lot of cases, we learn uh, from what we observe, not necessarily taught, yeah. right? Yeah. And, 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 and so we come in as young parents with, with no experience. And, and and look at the difference between having a, this younger son <laughs> and these other children. Yeah. It's a big difference, ain't it? Yeah, and it's a whole lot of other, you know, other issues <laughs> that I'm dealing with, you know. It is, it's not like I, I have this parenting down to a science or anything like nope. that because we, we, we has his own uh, things that he needs. Yeah. That are far just as important that the others need. You know, even though I have the wisdom to to share with him now uh, that I didn't have with the older older kids, you know, there are still things that he needs. Is dealing with that that has me on my knees. What you know? He, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. <clears throat> trying to learn from my father. You know to, how how to to sow into him to to give him a life that is is worthy. You know uh, of 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 a child of God. And so, you know, it, it doesn't matter what what the reason is. There's always uh, situations and circumstances that arise that, if it weren't for God, I would not have the patience or the or the knowledge, fortitude, or, or anything to actually <clears throat> equip myself. Yeah, yeah. You know. Um, this thing that we're talking about. I'm pretty sure that <laughs> that this this father, you know, he was like, "Well, you asked for this. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you." You know, because he he didn't already dealt with his older son. His older son was, was fine. Yeah, <laughs> that's he right. Stayed, he stayed there and he's doing what he's supposed to do. But even in him staying there, he still missed out on what was available to him. Right. So, you know, and, and, uh, 
And so, you know, probably him just giving his his younger son uh, his inheritance was probably a bad choice. Well, the, the, the father, I think the father was doing what he was obligated to do, yeah. just like you're doing with your child. But what I what I think a lot of cases where the problem comes in with all of us as we grow is who we join ourselves to. Yeah. It, you know, you, you see that 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 sneaks right by you at first fifteen if you don't watch it. Is uh, when when we, as you and I, was growing up. There were some people we associated with, and then and some of us got wise enough to say, "I'm gonna let this one go," right? I, I, these these guys ain't my boy <laughs> because the path they're going to, I, I just can't go with. Look, that's one thing I, I just gotta give God credit for because uh, my father was. <laughs> Ooh, he was such a disciplinarian that I knew what would be the result of me getting caught doing stupid stuff. Yeah. So when my friends would do crazy stuff, if there was any, any way that came to my mind that we could get caught doing it, yeah. I was like, y'all go ahead. Y'all look. I'm not in the good. I'm not going to die for enough sense. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. You know, uh, on many occasions. Yeah. Uh, still, there were those times where I did go out and get into mischief. You know, and. Uh, you need some boundaries. You need some better boundaries some of them. That's the point. Yeah. But of course, you know, based on. Um, not, not the prize of uh, of getting what we were getting, trying to get after, but my choices was <laughs> was based on the fear of, of the results. <laughs> is that, is that, well, that was a good point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was wisdom to say that there's a cost. Yeah. There's a cost associated with our behavior, and mm -hmm. you decided to say some things it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. You yeah. know, and, and thinking back, you know, that that sad. Because these, these people uh, I grew up with, you know, they, I can't imagine uh, their fathers not being uh, as strong as mine was back in this particular time, you know, and, and a lot of them, uh, I guess, maybe their fathers weren't, weren't there, not because of you know, they, they left the, their mother because they I lived in a military community and which was on an army base, so they, they were often in the field, you know, for weeks at a time and and uh, deploying and stuff. Uh, so you know, maybe that was, was some of the issues that they had. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, man. <laughs> But the wrath of my father is like, oh man, I feel that that that, that man like 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 he was God. So, <laughs> the, uh, it's funny. My uh, now mine wasn't as, as as restrict, but at the same time, it was it was still uh, uh you you didn't want to get you didn't want to get a weapon, right? He didn't. He didn't punish you, but when he did punish you, punish you harshly. You know, yeah. you have other parents that talk to you when they beat you. <laughs> anyway, yeah. yeah. I mean, but my it, mom, it, my mom, good at that. My mom, you got a strap with each. I mean, a, uh, a strap for each word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was like, each word cost you something. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, so you hope it was a very short sentence. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was, it was, it was a, it was a trip. But it was funny. But like I said, who you join yourself with really made a big difference. I was, uh, my 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 brother when he was, uh, we grew up on, on a place called Front Street, and we had a young uh, friend of ours who actually went to prison for like twenty years. Uh, 
for robbery. Mm -hmm. And and uh, he always got into all kinds of trouble. And and it was a blessing that God moved us from that front street at, at, a, at a right age. Uh, because even while I was growing up, him and uh, my brother and, and, and this friend of ours and some other kids, they just they went into the, uh, the white community neighborhood and one of them stole a bike. But they, they was like a group, right? Mm -hmm. And the police, you know, somebody called the police and they all ran. And then my brother though, he said he wanted to walk because he ain't do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what happened? He got picked up, right? Well, of course. He, he, the fact is, he did do something. He didn't run. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't run. Well, and you know, and, and, and obviously he got a bad uh, consequences for that, right? Uh, but but it was who we was affiliated with. And then as we got older, uh, even though we moved away from uh, that place, my, he was confronted by that young man who, look at this, I know you heard this many times before, or at least they used this term. <coughs> he, the guy said, I'm gonna go into this store and rob this store. He, was, my brother was driving the car, right? Picked him up and, and, and he said, I don't want you to be my getaway car. Now, this is something that you, did, you didn't even plan, right? This was not part of your day. This just happened is I, I picked up Brother Addison and I went to, <laughs> and it, we decided to go to a convenience store and all of a sudden he's going to tell me he got a plan, right? And this is how so many people have been gone astray. But my brother, my brother was good at it though. He said, uh, uh, I tell you what, I got an internet. You still hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look. He said, "I tell you what. You, you go. You get out of this car, <laughs> and you go in that store. <laughs> it won't be no car out right here <laughs> when you come out. So I hope you don't come running <laughs> looking for a car." And uh, and the guy said, "Oh, you punk, right?" It, and yet you see people how they did that. Many yeah, people, right? they try, they try and guilt you into doing dirt work. Yeah, and, and try to question your manhood, challenge your manhood, and everything else to do a negative thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Too bad so many people are in jail because of that, or prison. But my point is that this guy and his prodigal son, he joined himself to a citizen of that country. Yeah. And, and, and this is the outcome. There was no, there was, there was this further down, worse, degraded. So this guy right here said then came to himself. And how many times we all need to come to ourselves about the mercy of God. And that's what you, that's what you designed to do, equip, right? To tell them in my father's house. Yeah. Come on, bro. Yeah, many men in his house. In his house or in, in his, his kingdom. kingdom. Or in his realm, in yes, his sir. house. Yes, sir. There's mansions in his house. Yes, so sir. His house is. Come on, bro. <laughs> and, and you know, sort of out of it, he said, "Is I like this. It's, I like the part about John 10:10. 10, 10. Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I come to give life. And look at it, abundantly." Yeah.